hello again everybody welcome to my channel it's Marlene um, today I have yet again another idea for a journal or a page um, this one <laughs> believe it or not we were having pizza for supper one night and I got looking at the pizza and I thought wow wonder if I can use that idea in one of my journals and so I played around with it and this is what I came up with now I've mounted this on one of these pages these pages are for my idea journal my idea book uh, every time I make something new I make a an example of it and I mount it on one of these pages and put it in my idea book I soon have to do something with my idea book. It's getting pretty big. Let me just give you a glimpse. This is my idea book. <laughs> it started out as just a small book and the reason I used it is because it did have these nice plain brown pages in it that looked a little bit vintage and I really like the saying on the front of this book. So I started using this and I started following another YouTuber, Corey Dahman, and doing some of her ideas and incorporating them in my idea book. And then over time, I have added a lot of my own ideas and a lot of ideas from other YouTubers. So this is my go-to book when I'm a little stumped when I'm making a journal. And it is right, just full of ideas of all kinds of things. I started out doing just tucks and pockets and it's grown since then into doing many other um, corner pockets, envelopes, decorative elements, and so on. Someday I will do a video or two. It may take a couple to get through my idea book. So that's why the brown pages. So this idea of the pizza wheel, I mounted it already, just using a little brad in the center on this page. And what I did with this one is I just took some plain brown paper and measured out a circle. And then I took the decorative brown and black page for on top and measured out a circle that's about an eighth of an inch all the way around smaller and then I did some more figuring I decided that I was going to cut it into measure it into eight sections just like I would a pizza and I cut all these little tags to fit inside this one I sewed it on each of the sections so that it was more obvious and it worked out really well so for this one the front cover is just a picture of a map of the world in kind of grayscale I guess and I just put a little bit more color in the tags that are in here and they're just blank on the back and uh, you don't have to be able to just journal on these, but I always thought if you wanted something bigger to put in here to journal on, you could utilize circles folded up into these pie shapes and insert it. And that would give you a bigger piece of paper to journal on. And you could put eight of those if you wanted into this pie shape or this pizza shape and it could be made smaller or larger depending on your page size. I just made one that would fit on this page so that I could then put it into my idea journal. And by making it with a brad in the center, it would make it easier to spin around to remove tags and to put them back in again. So that's my next idea and when I was thinking this, I thought, you know, you could take it a step farther and you could make layers of circles. 
um, going graduating in size if you want it from a smaller circle to a medium circle to a larger circle. And in each of those circles, you could put tucks or tags. So in essence, you could do maybe 24 tags or tucks of pages or papers inside each of these sections. So again, it would make for a lot of storage on an individual page. So it was just another idea for a junk journal, something that might be a little unique. And I don't know if anybody's ever had this idea before. Um, it's just something I thought up again, and I thought I would share it with everybody. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope it gives you some ideas for your journals. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch my little video.